Okay, this is practice problem 2.6 and yeah, let's do something with the picture. Okay. Let's do this. Picture. Yeah. Let's copy the picture. And then let's crop this so I get the circuit. Circuit. And let's resize this so we can see this more clearly. Okay. Okay, let's see what they are asked for find Vx and V0 so we are asked to find Vx and V0 in the circuit of figure 2.24 so this is the figure we are asked to find Vx here and V0 here again this is a perfect circuit to do KVL so let's use the pen here Okay, let's do KVL at this loop. Okay, let's name this loop I A maybe I A again maybe. Yeah, it's the same as the previous problem, but it's okay. So we will use KVL at loop I A. Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero in a loop. Okay, we will need to start it one by one. So this is the voltage source and it's flowing from negative to positive. So the sign will be negative and the value is 70. And then we have a resistance of 10 ohm. But it is resistance and we need voltage so we multiply it by IA. And then again we found the what is it? Dependent voltage source and the sign will be positive because it is entering from the positive polar polarity, so it have plus, and the value is 2 Vx. 2 Vx. And then one more we have 5 ohm here, plus 5. But it is resistance and we need voltage, so we multiply that by IA. We'll have IA and that will equal to zero. Okay, let's move this constant to the right hand side and let's add up this IA. So I'll have 15 IA plus 2 Vx is equal to 70. Okay, now let's see what Vx is. Let's see what Vx is. Okay, Vx is this one. So what can we do about it? So remember that we have Ia pass through here and Vx is the voltage between this resistance. So I'll have Vx is equal to, what is it? Remember the ohm's law, V is equal to I multiplied by R, right? So Vx is Ia, Ia multiplied by the resistance, so N ohm, right? Or in, in other words, Vx is 10 Ia. Vx is 10 Ia. So we can plug this Vx into this Vx. So we'll have 15 Ia plus 2 multiplied by 10 Ia which is 20 Ia okay, and that will equal to 70 and we can add up this so 35 Ia is equal to 70 and so we can conclude that our loop value here loop current here is 2 ampere so we have a very important value here 
So I have IA is 2. So now from here, we know that Vx is 10 IA. So we can conclude that Vx is 10 multiplied by 2. Which means that Vx is 20. So now let's put it in a box inside a box and then what can we do here so we are asked to find v0 again we have to be very careful here because ia is flowing from this side to this side so the power polarity from this kvl calculation will be like this this is the positive the right one is positive polarity and the left one is negative polarity so let's name this voltage step here is maybe what is it? V zero prime. So we have V zero prime is equal to IA multiplied by five. So our IA what is our IA is two and then multiplied by five. So V zero prime is ten volt. But we are not asked to find V0 prime, but V0, which is the negative polarity of this V0 prime. So we will have that as the inverse of this one. The, what is it? Additional inverse of this. So I will have V0 is minus N. So we have found Vx and v0 which is 20 and minus 10 and if you see here that is the same as the answers given in the problem 